Hey, Mark Nelson. Today what I want to do is just show you how to get people to read your content on Facebook. And there is such a great way. And most people make this mistake. If you're ever reading a post, and I, I know we all went through the same, well, not the same English teacher I had, but they taught you to write in paragraphs. And if you're writing a book, that probably is true. But if you're writing on social media or even your emails, that doesn't help you very well. So today what I want to do is I want to share with you a post that we put up and is we did it, I did it both on Facebook and I also did it, and we also did it in an email. But it, it's just a it's a story post. So if we can get started, I'm going to do a couple things, see how smart I am with my little highlighter. The first thing is right here is now when when you're putting a post up, you want to catch catch people's attention. So one is you have to stop them somehow and you stop them two ways. You stop them with the headline or you stop them with an image that just will, they go, whoa, what is that? Now, most people, people love to see animals, right? Little puppies, little kittens, and they love to see smiling faces. So that's what I kind of gear towards. And, and uh, my wife has a much better smile than I do, so I tend to put her on a lot of our posts. <laughs> but anyway, th that's what people do. But this was the headline. I was emotionally drained from my network marketing. Oops, marketing business. Sorry, I got over there. Like, it would seem like I had the dream life. I mean, they start talking to this. So as it goes on, see what happens here? After that, what they do is they write a sentence. And then what happens is they put in a white space. See, they... they they break it up, and the sentences get shorter. Rank advancements, car bonus, a large team. But I really wasn't able to win back my freedom. But again, what's happening are the breaks in here. See, it's very easy to read while you're what to read with all these breaks in here. So I want to show you another thing in here. See, they, they do this one right here. This is done right here. This is a lean in and give it three dots. Sometimes there's more space sitting in there. I bought a new pen to use with this, but I keep thinking I don't even have it. But then as we get farther down, you know what happens? Look at this. Again, one more simple. Did everything go my way on the first try? And what happens right here, this is a one word sentence. Here's another one, no, yes. See what it is, those one word sentences really draw your attention to it. Now, there's been a thing on Facebook and a lot of emails that people really overuse emojis, but you see here, this is the first one sitting right here. First emoji right there. But as we come down, as a, this is a long story post, but, but then look at where all these emojis are. But to tell you the truth, it says, it, there's not an overkill. Spend time with my family. Go on road trips. Here's a car. There's a picture of the family. Shop, travel, there's a globe. Delicious dinners, there's food. Uh, Netflix and chill, there's a TV. And then you get it with a big smiley face. See, all the emojis are making sense. Sometimes you see emojis and they don't even make sense with the group. So, and that's what they get down here. As we get down here, everybody has a dream. They start selling. The story post is telling them that the uh, the life of they don't want. And then what happens, it's a, they're talking about what they want. And then they start asking you a question, is that you? 
Everyone has a dream. Start living that dream instead of just dreaming it. Learn more about this by visiting our site. See, that is a story ad. But what I really wanted to show you was how to break up your sentences. Don't put paragraphs. Put little sentences. And then don't be afraid to start out without emojis, but emojis help. And then this key right here is your one-word sentences. Short and sweet. Catches people's attention. So, I hope you got a lot of uh, value from that. I know I did as I go through training because I didn't... Learning content copywriting for content was a not a challenge, but, you know, it, it was invigorating because I was learning so many things because I'm learning what I was taught in school. But if you want people to start reading your posts, you need to start writing like this. So I hope that is great value to you. You all take care. Bye.